Long-term human prosperity depends on a healthy planet. To achieve both requires recognizing the value and services that natural places provide, plus understanding that protecting ecosystems, species, and economies means sharing responsibility across disciplines, and most importantly, across national borders. The East Asian Australasian Flyway, a bird superhighway for over 50 million water birds. It connects 22 countries and spans breeding grounds in Arctic to wintering areas in the Southern Hemisphere. At its heart, the Yellow Sea. Shorebirds depend on the rich intertidal marshlands of China's coast as a service station, a place to rest and refuel. Hosting around 40% of China's human population and responsible for 60% of national GDP, this irreplaceable resource has been under immense pressure. In the last few decades, as much as 70% of marshlands have been lost to economic development, and the populations of many shorebirds have been in sharp decline, with more than 30 species now under direct threat of extinction. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, leading scientists, local groups, governments, and the international conservation community work together to raise awareness and advocate for protection of the remaining sites. Together, they showed that the ecosystem services China's coastal wetlands provide are worth 200 billion US dollars annually, providing local livelihoods, protection from storm surges and sea level rise, water purification, and carbon storage. In July 2018, armed with science-based evidence of the value of coastal wetlands, the Chinese government announced a ban on further coastal wetland reclamation, and work began to protect the remaining sites. And in July 2019, the World Heritage Committee inscribed two of the most important sites with an additional 14 sites due to be recognized in 2023. There is still a long way to go to secure the future of this flyway. However, this example is a reminder that nature doesn't recognize borders and show that multidisciplinary efforts involving multiple nations can be successful in protecting our shared natural heritage.